There are growing concerns over plans for new bike lanes in North Park. While supporters say it would make the neighborhood safer, others argue it could have a damaging impact on businesses. And News 8's Chris Grow is joining us live in North Park right now with a closer look, including reaction, a lot of mixed reviews, some not too happy about this. Good morning to you, Chris. Good morning, Stella and Netta. Look, it took us a little while to find some parking here in North Park. We're here on 30th and Polk. We're talking about hundreds of parking spaces that are gone now, red spaces, all in part of this larger project that the city has undertaken. But for those that live in North Park, that operate businesses in North Park, they are mad and they don't want to see this uh, happen. They actually want to see it reversed. My vested interest and a lot of other North Park homeowners' vested interest is if the parking goes away, the businesses go away. If the businesses go away, then my property is going to lose value. And so the city says we'll see around 550 spaces that were here in North Park go to less than 200. The new red curves mark the future locations for protected bike lanes. We saw protesters out last week just as the paint was fresh, pushing back against the loss of spaces. In fact, we saw those protesters out here just a couple days after the state reopened when those curbs were marked red. So the group Safe 30th Street Parking has been outspoken against the plans and what they say will be a damaging impact on businesses on the route that are just now recovering after COVID. But the city is pushing back. They pointed out that this is going to be an amenity for residents in the area and that there's also an underutilized parking garage with more than 200 spaces in the area. It's something Mayor Todd Gloria made a point of yesterday, to, uh, yesterday morning with us. I understand that concern. At the same time, we have deleted hundreds of parking spaces to create outdoor dining opportunities that have quite literally saved businesses. So it is not a zero-sum game between parking and business success. What this is about actually creating additional community amenities that will improve safety in the community. And again, that parking garage, about a $5 maximum per day. And the city says... It is underutilized. However, that isn't the same amount of parking spots that are going away. So that is, again, why we're seeing this group being front and center with trying to reverse here the city's project. Stella Netta.